So in this particular video, I'm gonna take a look at off the tee fairway finding golf club. Is it a two utilitarian or is it a two hybrid? So for me, this is gonna be an exciting test because I'm a player that would typically have a two iron in the bag. But just looking at the new Sim 2 Rescue, which obviously now we can get in a, in a two, which is 17 degree, is it that much better? Is it more forgiving? Can I hit more fairways? Does that ball flight go too high with it being a hybrid? We're gonna find out in this particular video. So just before we jump into this video, I just want to let you know about a new venture that we've set up, um, myself and some other PGA professionals uh, called Lux Prizes. So some of you may have seen this already. If you haven't, I would love it if you could just go in that description underneath this video visit the website so it's basically um, a chance for you to go and purchase tickets fraction of the cost of golf for golf equipment for a chance to win that said item now at the moment we are only uk so if you're outside the uk you won't be able to uh, enter unfortunately but if anybody in the uk i'd love it to just go and check that out if you can okay so if you're a type of golfer maybe just struggle a little bit off the tee with driver and you wanted to sort of have that fairway find or if it's that tight hole and you know you just want to really try and make sure you keep that ball in play sometimes these utility irons are really really popular i'm a big fan of these i've always grown up from my junior days playing with a, a long iron in the bag and it's always sort of stayed there and i do like that sort of low penetrating ball flight especially when it's maybe a little bit windy as well but also maybe trying to strive to get a little bit of distance on those shots as well as well as the accuracy Obviously, we see introductions of hybrids. Hybrids typically over a utility iron will flight the ball a bit higher. So sometimes the spin can go up. Obviously, then the wing gets evolved a little bit more and maybe just don't quite get that penetrating flight that sometimes we may be sort of looking for. Having said that, the new Sim 2 um, hybrid against the, uh, the normal Sim 2 Max hybrid is obviously a bit more compact. So it's a bit more designed for that slightly more penetrating ball flight. So that's what got me thinking here for me personally. Perform better with something a little bit more forgiving or does that go a little bit too high and I don't get that penetrating flight that I'm really sort of looking for. So we're gonna start off with the two iron. We're gonna hit these off a small tee because obviously this is an iron that I would typically, or a club, I would typically hit off the tee, probably more so than second shots. This is 18 degrees of loft. Oh, that's a nice strike and that's a lovely flight. And that's the flight that I would like to see with my sort of two iron off that tee it's not going to it's not trying to climb up that flight it's a more of a flatter flight see the height there at 68 feet at the peak of its height and that carried out at 230 running out 260 so it's coming in pretty hot so i'm just thinking you know when i would typically use a lot off the tee with these sort of clubs would be probably like a lynx golf course and obviously then you see you tend to see a little bit more run when that ball hits the ground again you've always got to remember you know it's, it's really down to you as an individual and a lot of this will depend on how you deliver the club to the ball and what sort of speed you're generating obviously if you've got not a great deal of speed then a low lofted two iron like this even in this utility iron which are a little bit more geared to flighting it higher than like a traditional two iron it still might be a little bit of a struggle so then that's when then the hybrids might sort of lend itself um, a little bit more yeah and again really nice flight that's the flight i would be looking for and that's where i'd be interested to see this hybrid does that climb any higher than that does the spin change so you look at those two pretty much identical and that's what I like with, with an iron, you know, it's a little bit more of a, also a left to right dispersion aspect, you know, with that iron face, flat face, it just feels like I can get that iron accuracy a little bit more. Again, thinking about when you're under that pressure, you've got to hit that fairway, that tight hole. That felt like a better strike. Tiny bit more up that left. But again, it's a good flight. But we got a little bit further, I struck that. Oh no, it didn't actually. I felt like I struck that a little bit better. Again, that height there, you can see it's 69 feet. It's not climbing. Oh, I've really struck that one. That felt really good. So as we know, a lot of these uh, utility irons are hollow now. Helps a little bit of forgiveness, helps with that bit of ball speed. Yeah, that one went a little bit further. So as I mentioned, much more forgiving than like a traditional two iron, which are very, very difficult to use. And again, really good strike. Just working these a fraction up that left. I'm probably just aiming a bit left here, to be honest. Probably a little more me and my alignment, but... Uh, okay, so there's five shots hit there. Very consistent that front to back there, weren't they, on those five shots? Just a tiny bit of that left, but it's a tight dispersion. You're gonna be hitting fairways with that. So that, for me, is really, really good. So be interested to see what this hybrid does. Right, so 
Sim 2 Rescue in our hands. So as we've done, I've done a review video of this, so it's a much more compact, like a squared off toe section, a uh, lot more sort of, to say, compact really in that head compared to the uh, standard Sim 2. So a little bit more of a sort of penetrating in terms of that ball flight. Obviously we've got some adjustability here now. So this is a 2 Rescue, which comes in a standard at 17 degrees. Now I've just upped the loft a little bit to get it near to that 18 degree that we've just hit with the iron. Now we do know as we increase the loft with the tailor-made neck sleeve, we are gonna see a slightly closing of the club face. So the only thing worries me, I am going to a hybrid, it's gonna sit a little bit more towed in. Is that gonna open up that left uh, miss a little bit more? And it, it does sit subtly closed, but it's not as much as I thought it would do, to be honest, but we'll, we'll see. Um, great little head on this, you know, blacked out, black face, black top edge, that sort of matte black. Uh, back section does look very, very stealth-like. Okay, straight away, I mean, I've hit that quite a bit on the toe. That wasn't the best strike in the world. And straight away there, that ball speed, 145. Just have a look at those other ones, maybe in terms of the iron in a minute. And just talk a little bit about length of the golf club, but these have both got graphite shafts in. And the length there, obviously the hybrid is that bit longer. So we're probably gonna see some more club head speed uh, in relation to the, um, to the two iron. So we're gonna probably see some more ball speed relation and some more distance. But as I say, I'm a little bit more wanting to look at this height. How does that ball flight change with that hybrid? Oh, that's a good strike. Yeah, and that is flying a little bit higher. So it is flying a touch higher, but you see that peak height. Good ball speed, we'll show at 150, 82. So there's where that, um, obviously that ball speed increase with through the club head speed increase is gonna get that extra distance. So good carry distance there, 253 with a, a two hybrid is really good. Uh, but the height has gone up, hasn't it? Now it hasn't gone up a massive amount. It's just that slightly different window. See, that's why I think it's just slightly more beneficial against the utility and again that was a bit of a toe strike that wasn't perfect but i think with that head type you're going to get that bit more i mean that hasn't dropped any distance at all off that slight toe strike right so just out of interest what i've done now is i've dropped the loft so again the beauty with the uh, with the rescue in the sim 2 is we've got that adjustability through that neck sleeve so i've now dropped it as low as i possibly can which is 1.5 degrees lower than what's stipulated on the uh, back of the hose there. So it was 17, I've now dropped that down into 15.5 degrees. So it's a little bit like a, a one iron sort of loft in a way. So again, what that does to the face appearance it is, it, I mean, to be fair, that just looks to sit a fraction open. Yep, so again, as you lose the loft or you drop the loft or reduce it, it's gonna slightly open the, the club face. Um, so it does sit really well. I just slightly open that club face. We're interested to see what happens to the ball flight. So a little bit less loft. Can this get this down to that two iron flight? Again, that's that slight toe strike. It's come out very neutral. Yeah, so it wasn't the, again, it wasn't the perfect strike there, but I mean, 249 carry, run out 285. There's a little bit of a low spin there through that toe strike, just over 2000 that spin. It's a little, one of those little bombers. That felt a decent strike. That's definitely a bit lower, a bit more penetrating. Again, good ball speed, 151. There we go. So there's that flight back down. So you see 65 peak height. Again, good carry. It's going to run out. It's going to release. So could be into a little bit of a, a good option here. You know, reducing that loft obviously gets that ball speed up. We've got that little bit of forgiveness with the hybrid, maybe just over against that utility iron. Yeah, so that wasn't perfect. That was a bit bottom, slight heel. It works that ball a little bit left to right. Again, it's not bad as a bit of a drop off. That's that beauty, maybe just that little bit more forgiveness. Imagine hitting that strike with that iron, probably would not have done as well. Definitely wouldn't have felt as good. Yeah, I've struck that well, but that, this ball is just starting up that right now. So maybe that drop in another loft, it's just maybe struggling a little bit with that face control there. Because it, to be honest, when you look at that yellow dispersion ring, that we saw when I actually increased the loft, which actually slightly closes the club face, you think this is gonna go a little bit more left, and it didn't, did it? So now as I'm dropping it, I'm moving the face now more open, that's the only concern, I get that little bit of that right miss. 
that's a good strike. Yeah, definitely a little bit of that left to right shape through the air. Definitely flying a touch lower. Yeah, very similar to that. So I think what we've seen there is those good strikes are getting that similar sort of flight. Obviously, we've just got to take into account as we change the loft, we are going to change face angle, which can change certain shot patterns. I'm just, the only thing that worries me a little bit there, if I'm stood on a hole and the wind's strong off the left, it's, I just feel like I might struggle to, to try and control that left to right sort of shape and lose it a little bit more up that right hand side. Okay, so if you have a little look at the, uh, the dispersions there between those shots, the so two iron in the, in the, in the white, was quite consistent. Um, as I put the hybrid in, in that 18 degree, obviously I've upped the loft a little bit again. I know I only hit three shots, but quite consistent there. Definitely seeing that increase there through, we'll have a look at the numbers in a minute, but probably through that extra length in the shaft there, to be honest. Um, and then obviously moving then dropping that loft hasn't gained me any more distance against the 18 degree. So putting to 15.5 hasn't increased my distance. Um, what it has done is lowered the ball flight, which we'll look at now. So that was the iron ball flight. We'll then move into the 18 degree. You see noticeably higher ball flight on those three shots. And then going into the 15.5, you can see it comes back down again, uh, nearer to where we had it with the iron. But as I say, we've got a, a, a couple of misses out to the right now. And that's the only thing that worries me, which obviously they'll open that club face a little bit more is, um, you know, I've just got that little bit of that right miss in there. So look at those numbers. So we can see 98 with the two iron. We're definitely gonna see an increase of club head speed because we've got a longer shaft in the hybrid naturally because of the hybrid against the iron shaft. So you see jump to 100, sort of 101 there with that second batch. Uh, ball speed wise, 144, 147, just short of 148, just short of 149. Again, we're going to see ball increase because of club head increase. Uh, but the launch is obviously uh, two iron came out a lot lower that, around that 10 degree mark. We jumped a bit of launch there with, um, again, the 18, I should say 18 there. Sorry, I did change that uh, loft up there. So it, it says 17, but it is 18. Um, so it has jumped up a little bit, with th probably through that hybrid head more than anything. And then we just obviously knocked that back down a little bit more with the 15.5. We've got a few higher launches there, but they're the ones that I missed more to, to the right, it wasn't it. Uh, spin number wise, again, a little bit lower spin with that lower loft as you'd expect. Um, but then that height of the peaks, so you can see 67 with that iron, that jumped to 88. So that's my concern there. It's a ball flight just pops up a little bit higher than maybe what I'd like to sort of see it. But then it was nice to get that extra bit of carry distance it. So there's always a bit of a trade-off there, isn't there? But then dropping that down into that 15.5, obviously drop the, the, the peak height back down nearer to that iron, um, and also fairly kept up my uh, distance again, purely because of that shaft length and that ball speed gain. Okay, so it, it's a little bit of a tricky one there between those two clubs, because we've got that adjustability in the, in the rescue club, obviously we've then got that face angle uh, to work into the count. There's no way of getting away from that. If you're gonna start moving that loft around, you are gonna change the face angle alongside it. So maybe a good comp compromise there would actually just to play it in the 17 degree, keep that club face as square as I possibly can. I'm trying to get that ball flight down. We've got that speed increase because of the length of the shaft between those two options but i'm still in that sort of what i would like to see is that iron sort of flight so interested there for you guys that maybe use that long iron off the tee we've got utility irons now which are coming very very popular but i think these types of hybrids uh, or rescue clubs as taylor may call them you know that little bit more compact for that slightly quicker club head speed player or somebody wants to get that flight a little bit more uh, penetrating with some adjustability again you've got to work it into your miss and your uh, ball flight but it could also be a good option so it's an interesting one for you to test yourselves post comments down below let me know your thoughts are you a utility iron player or are you a hybrid player or are you looking to maybe switch into from one to another in that area of the game so you maybe use off that tee obviously with a hybrid there you, you it's not one that you're probably going to hit those really high towering flights and nice stopping power into the green with this type of club for me it's a little bit more off the tee uh, type of club okay thanks very much for watching the video hope you, you've enjoyed it if you have loads of more content coming your way and you haven't subscribed make sure you do ring the bell so as soon as a video lands on my channel you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it and you will not miss a thing and hopefully we'll catch you all very soon